The bloody civil war between July 1967 and January 1970, following the neglect of the Aboria Court, was nothing Nigerians anticipated for. The civil war, according to historians, was a genocide that saw over 2.5 million children die of starvation. It's now 50 years after the war. Scores of well-meaning Igbos and Nigerians gather at the Never Again Conference to dissect the issues that threaten national unity and review the current ethnic crisis in the country. Nobu Lorette, Professor Woloshoinka, former economist Professor Patutomi and others reflect on the two-and-a-half-year war. I do not for a moment underestimate the self-sacrificial efforts and I do not ignore the vision of a few of those leaders. I do insist, however, that that protocol of sacrosanctity of colonial boundaries was a self-serving power mechanism of internal control and domination that had nothing to do with a structured programmatic concern for the welfare of the African masses, who after all bore the brunt of the effects of colonialism and its later camouflage successors, including internal colonialism. If you go on social media today, you will know that Nigeria is at war. I mean, young people who were not anywhere around the war hate so much, and you wonder why. For me, this is a failure of leadership in Nigeria. Popular singer Onyeko Wenu lays her cards bare on the table, admitting that there is a possibility for the Igbo race to secede from Nigeria. I am angry at Nigeria. I am angry at this government which seems to be letting us down. I am angry at us as a people. I am angry at my people in Jibo. Because only a Jada Jomie. If they have refused you, why are you refusing yourself? But is the Never Again Conference an agitation for an Igbo president in 2023? Having experienced the horrendous civil war, Professor Tommy clarifies. The truth of the matter is that we've not gotten the right kind of leadership that makes everybody feel a sense of belonging and commitment to a common cause. What we need to build is a set of shared values for our people and a commitment to serving the best interest of all. I saw the war as a small boy of 14 years old. It was not an experience that one will wish to have second time in a lifetime. So that is why we are here, to say never again. And what I'm taking from here now is to go and talk to my people, for them to forget about what happened during the war. Let's begin to build a new country. The war is an event which have come and gone, but the memories of that war will ever remain in the lives of every Igbo man. The wounds, the afflictions, is still much open 50 years after, down the law, after the war. In the faces of injustices, in the faces of the abandoned properties in Port Harcourt, in the faces of untold hardship, simply because you are an evil man in the Nigerian society. These are the wounds. Until some of this wound is healed, then we can now start talking about building a united Nigeria. These Igbo leaders bear their minds on the war 50 years after. It is hoped that away from the rhetorics, the symposium will remind the over 200 million population of Nigeria about the futility of another civil war. Mary Chinda for Plus TV Africa.